Hello everyone, how you doing? So today what I want to do is I want to uh, make a video on how to read a Mercury retrograde. Now um, on, I think it was November 3rd, Mercury moved out of his shadow. It might have been, this, yeah, the second was his last day in the shadow and his third he moved out of his shadow. And I had said uh, during Mercury Retrograde, I don't know if I did a video on it or what, you know, maybe I should do more videos. But I had said that um, all this information about Vax passports, uh, mandated passports for, uh, for employees and whatever, um, that that information was all coming out in a mercury um, shadow or retrograde uh, area and that once mercury comes out of his shadow uh, a lot of this information is going to be uh, coming out that um, goes against what they were saying and let me give you a couple examples here okay so a cease and desist order against vax mandates the government what of uh, Canada um, will it show me more here anyhow the government of Canada uh, was served a cease and desist order against vax mandates from the Canadian uh, Labor Board okay um, so that that is huge some of the other things that came out uh, was let me scroll down to it. Uh, Doug Ford announced. Um, here we are. We're on the third. Doug Ford announced that he won't be imposing uh, COVID nineteen vaccine mandates for healthcare workers. Uh, what else came out that day? That Ontario court uh, issues interim injunction against UHN vaccine mandates. UHN is. What is UHN again? The University Health Network. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, what was, I feel there was even yet another one. This is kind of similar to the other one. New Brunswick, uh, their labor board issued a cease and desist to the government. Uh, and then the entire Canadian one did as well. Okay. So those are some examples of what I mean when Mercury comes out of his shadow. A lot of the things that were said uh, during his retrograde or shadow um don't actually come true and and so why I feel this is important is when we know that mercury is going to be in shadow and retrograde um, to to not fall to fear uh, for a lot of the information coming up um, hold out as long as possible uh, before making any moves before burning any bridges wait uh, if you can until Mercury is out of shadow and and if you can push that uh, and delay any decisions um, until you're absolutely forced to uh, that's what I would recommend so here I want to I'll show you the charts here on how to um, see that so I'm using a program called Z9 and Z9 is an absolutely free uh, software that you can install on your computer. It's a, you know, it's a wonderful, so many of these astrology uh, chart reading softwares cost money. Um, and yeah, this one's free and it has all kinds of extras and stuff like that. So yeah, here I'm going to show you how to read um, Mercury retrograde and how to 
uh, read the shadow period okay so here we are on September 22nd uh, and you see Mercury right here and, and the SR that means station retrograde and it's at 25 degrees Libra okay so Mercury is retrograde for three weeks so in the days I have 21 days that's three weeks move forward and you see Mercury stations here so he stopped again he's about to go direct so where did he stop he stopped at 10 degrees so his uh, retrograde was between 25 and 10 degrees so let's go back to the day he went retrograde and let's go backwards three weeks in the past from the day he went retrograde and we're at basically an hour later um, we're at 10 degrees Libra on the 6th of September that was the Monday following Labor Day weekend um, so you know you could take mental notes on what was going on for yourself at that time and uh, and yeah so September 6th um, anything that basically happened after September 6th all the way to uh, to October 18th 100% for sure I wouldn't trust any of that information but now Mercury even at 10 degrees he's already been to 25 degrees right and uh, it'll take less than three weeks it's actually a little closer to two weeks I think it's a 15 days if we move up 15 days he's at that 25 degree Libra again which is November 2nd so until November 2nd that information is still he's in what we call shadow so all that information is still not in the Sun not out into daylight yet okay and then the following day here the 26th uh, sorry the 3rd of November he is now making new ground 26 and that is where we see that information coming out right the Doug Ford one was the third um, the, the injunction even uh, and the Doug Ford thing was both on the third um, the cease and desist order I believe was the fourth here uh, th this report anyhow came out on the fifth um, so yeah that's how you read a mercury retrograde okay now um, my next video I'm going to do the same it's the same concept but this time with Venus and Venus is uh, going to be in Capricorn for four months here and in that uh, period she's going to do a retrograde and so Venus will be different right um, and it's going to be longer it's going to be uh, you know it's going to cover um, possibly a three three months of time or something I haven't really fully looked into it but her shadow and the retrograde and her shadow again because there's a shadow before and after um, it's going to be a, a long one and Venus will be different right when she comes out of shadow it's not going to be news uh, this might be a little bit more internal um, you know we might walk into this Venus shadow and retrograde uh, with certain values and when Venus comes out of that shadow um, the values will be renewed uh, so reviewed to be renewed um, if some are up for renewal 
uh, some some values might just completely uh, not be there anymore. So you know, like uh, for instance, we might take a job here um, or something like that, and uh, and it's something that we value at the moment. But as Venus uh, clears her shadow, we might not be feeling that job anymore. It might not be something that uh, we sense holds value in our life anymore. Um, and there might be something the opposite, something that we don't value may come to having a uh, great value in our lives so that'll be my next video uh, we'll see maybe I'll do that tomorrow um, you know why not do it right now why not I guess I don't want to do it right now because I don't know the uh, the dates yet I wasn't prepared to do that right now but um, maybe you guys are interested you know I'm just gonna stop I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna do another video that's it it's simple and um, and uh, I'll be prepared and yeah thanks for joining me hope uh, this comes of help you know in the future uh, for making decisions I know you know um, Uh, I know that many of you went and took the vaccine or many of you left your jobs and I only wish that this information was uh, available to you prior and that you can have some faith and uh, faith and trust in uh, astrology as I do you know um and i'm not perfect with that uh i slip i fall um i have a love and hate relationship with astrology because sometimes i fail to um manifest and and I beat myself up on it because I see that the universe was offering me a blessing that um, my ego my ego keeps getting in the way and it's it's awful because I don't have a good ego you know my ego isn't about yeah I'm awesome that's the ego that I need to build up my ego is that I'm not good enough and it's not a good ego to have because when opportunities present uh, present themselves to you um, that demonstrate your value uh, you you often miss your blessings and um, you miss what you do deserve and what you fail to recognize uh, within yourself that you deserve um, and and uh, yeah you know it would have only made you worth that much more but you already have a difficult time recognizing the value that you currently have that if you can't recognize that value how are you ever going to um, become more valuable so yeah you know um venus is in capricorn and i believe that any day now she's about to enter her shadow so you know hopefully by the end of this i uh i recognize my value and i start receiving my blessings because man i am beating the shit out of myself uh, for not choosing me 
for for not believing in myself and uh, you know I'm hurting and I'm hurting caused by my own doing it's no one's fault but myself the universe wanted me to succeed set everything up for me to succeed and my ego kept me small my ego prevented me from claiming what was rightfully mine I feel so anyhow uh, I hope this Venus retrograde following this Mercury retrograde really resets the scales and uh, and uh, brings you balance you know and there's hope with that with Mars Mars joining up with Venus after she goes direct and uh, Mars will join up with Venus still while she's in her shadow phase but to me that's a sign of balance right the balancing of the masculine and feminine energies they will be traveling together for a good time Venus usually travels quick um, but because she's coming out of retrograde she'll she will have basically matched Mars's speed they will be traveling together hand in hand for five weeks they will be actually in conjunction for maybe even six or more weeks um, and they cross over Pluto together which is uh, a major uh, death uh, and rebirth transformation so you know um, yeah thanks for watching um, and I wish I wish the best for all of you guys you know I really hope uh, that you guys recognize your value and I know that today I got a, a call for a job interview on Wednesday I applied for a job and I don't want this job I don't but I feel like I need it I feel like honestly I've been taking money from the government I'm not proud of that I don't like that but um, in today's world with this mask like I I can't put a mask on my face I just to me I would be completely lying to myself and my soul um, whatever soul I I have I feel like I've really failed to retrieve my soul but at least I, uh, I'm trying to not b bury it further than it already is. Um, and, you know, I feel like I might actually have to take this job um, to bring more value into my life, um, more financial value uh, into my life. However, you know, this whole Venus retrograde and stuff, uh, once she comes out of shadow, I feel like I'll be completely ready to just let go of that. Uh, it won't be something that brings me value anymore. Um, hopefully by then, uh, I will have balanced out my affairs uh, and balanced out... Um, my my ego to believe in myself more and to uh, not only recognize my value but grab a hold of it and utilize it and apply it into reality so I don't know you know uh, I feel like I'm going through a lot of unnecessary pain right now um, because I didn't choose me because I had an opportunity to uh, to see my value and grab a hold of it and and I didn't and uh, and I'm just like how can I not 
have chosen me, you know, and I feel like I'm dragging myself through the ditch right now because because I didn't grab onto my self worth. And anyhow, you know, doing this video, it's a little late. I feel like, you know, I feel like I had an activation in 2019 that, uh, that was, it, it came out as a threat. And, um, anyways, I feel like I'm late on bringing my value and and for that when we don't recognize our own value everyone around us suffers um, and our win is everyone's win and our losses is everyone's losses and unfortunately I didn't win before to prepare everyone uh, whoever this video would have reached had I done this video in the past uh, had I believed in myself enough to share this information um, that some of you right now uh, would still have your jobs or some of you right now would not have been vaccinated and um, sometimes I end up holding on to that guilt as, as it was my fault and uh, you know I think we gotta not hold on to such heavy heavy thoughts it doesn't serve us and it's not worth uh, it doesn't bring value to anyone to continue beating yourself up so that's my video for today. Thanks for watching. Um, hope to catch up with you guys again soon. Okay, bye for now.